<laughs> oh, sh- what do you say? <laughs> to describe Buffy in one word is a b- Go back to that 50 Cent post. Because I'm going to tell you why 50 is literally the, is a diabolical genius. The anticipation surrounding 50 Cent's latest project, Diddy Do It, has reached a fever pitch. With promises of record-breaking viewership, 50 Cent teases fans with a new teaser for his upcoming documentary, leaving the world wondering what skeletons will be unearthed from Diddy's closet. The G-Unit mobile has been dropping hints for months about the sensational focus of the Doka series, with allegations against Diddy ranging from abuse to sex trafficking. Now, with a possible poster circulating featuring Diddy's face plastered on police case files, the stakes are higher than ever. It's safe to say not a lot of people know what's going on, and I'll bet he doesn't really know what's going on. But it doesn't stop there. As law enforcement raids hit Diddy's properties, 50 Cent intensifies his social media taunts, keeping the feud alive and kicking, from trolling about federal interventions to dragging Jay-Z into the mix, 50 Cent's antics only fuel the flames of speculation. Amidst the chaos, Diddy breaks his silence, denouncing the raids as a witch hunt. But with allegations swirling and tensions running high, will Diddy emerge unscathed? Or is this the beginning of the end for, is this the beginning of the end for the bad boy boss? Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. Before we get to the revelations from 50 Cent and what exactly he wants to show in his film, let's look at the latest scandal, searches of Diddy's houses and rumors about his possible arrest. The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to... The drama surrounding Diddy's properties has reached a fever pitch, with federal agents descending upon his residences in Los Angeles and Los Angeles and Miami. Scores of law enforcement officers swarmed his Los Angeles, are a home shutting down the entire vicinity as helicopters buzzed overhead. Sandra, this is going to turn into a huge scene that is going to be an all-day thing, and it involves, yes, P. Diddy. The home is actually registered to Bad Boy Films. Reports suggest that the raids were conducted as part of an ongoing investigation into allegations of sexual harassment and misconduct leveled against the mogul. Footage obtained by TMZ shows armed agents surrounding the property, with some arriving by water, underscoring the gravity of the situation. Adding to the intrigue, reports are surfacing, suggesting that Diddy's sons, Christian and Justin Combs, are spotted in handcuffs during the raid on his Los Angeles property, though confirmation remains elusive amidst the chaos. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now, we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this in from. The gravity of the situation is underscored by the presence of armed agents and the shutdown of the entire vicinity, creating a spectacle that captivates audiences worldwide. As speculation runs rampant and tensions simmer, Diddy, through his attorney Aaron Dyer, vehemently denies any wrongdoing, condemning what he deems as excessive force by authorities and standing firm in his innocence. Despite the intense scrutiny and media frenzy, Diddy remains resolute, vowing to fight tooth and nail to clear his tarnished name. I would say, like, to be careful with what we're hearing, because obviously people are just, like, piling onto this. They see opportunities for attention. Amidst the storm of legal woes surrounding Diddy, 50 Cent wasted no time in seizing the opportunity to intensify his feud with the bad boy mogul. Reacting to the federal raids on Diddy's properties, 50 Cent, true to form, unleashed a flurry of social media jabs that only added fuel to the fire. In a characteristic display of his trolling prowess, 50 Cent took to Instagram moments after news of the raids broke, sharing screenshots of news reports alongside his trademark wit. The feds are in all the cribs. Damn, they got the kids in cuffs. He quipped in the first of two posts, setting the tone for what would become another chapter in the ongoing saga between the two rap titans. But 50 Cent didn't stop there. In a follow-up post, he upped the ante, delivering another blow with his signature style. No, it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case, he provocatively declared, leaving no doubt about where he stood on the matter. Law enforcement officials swarmed Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami residences just an hour prior to 50 Cent's social media onslaught, amplifying the drama to unprecedented levels. Footage from the raids, including aerial shots of the mogul's sprawling estates, circulated widely, adding a surreal dimension to the unfolding spectacle. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say. But for 50 Cent, this is more than just another opportunity to take shots at his longtime adversary. It's a moment of triumph a chance to further his agenda of exposing what he perceives as the truth behind Diddy's carefully curated facade. In the wake of the raids, the enigmatic rapper turned entrepreneur hinted at a tantalizing prospect, a film titled Surviving P. Diddy. Drawing inspiration from the explosive documentary Surviving R. Kelly, which laid bare the dark underbelly of the R&B singer's life, 50 Cent teased the possibility of a cinematic expose that would delve into the depths of Diddy's alleged transgressions. 
This guy. 50's not to be No. Don't. 50's not to be fucked. Fifth. Y'all don't even. Fifth is fifth. Play around if you want to. Fifth is different. And he's on tour. But what exactly does 50 Cent have up his sleeve and where is he sourcing his ammunition for this cinematic takedown? Recent developments suggest that the enigmatic rapper turned entrepreneur is leaving no stone unturned in his quest for incriminating evidence against his longtime rival. In a bold move that underscores his unwavering determination, 50 Cent publicly declared his willingness to pay top dollar for video footage from Diddy's notorious parties where the rich and famous allegedly engaged in illicit activities. This announcement sent shockwaves through the industry, igniting speculation about the existence of incriminating material that could potentially unravel Diddy's carefully cultivated image. Shaking my head, this is going to be so good. What do you want to bet I'm going to get these tapes? I'll pay top dollar for them. Have you been over there? I don't go to Puffy's parties. 50 Cent captioned a screenshot on Instagram from a news broadcast detailing accusations against Diddy, including producer Lil Rod's lawsuit alleging hidden cameras in his home. These allegations have been swirling around Diddy for some time, with his ex-girlfriend Kessie leveling accusations of sexual assault and sex trafficking against him. While Diddy settled the lawsuit, maintaining his innocence, the specter of scandal continues to loom large over his legacy. In a resurfaced interview from 2010, 50 Cent provided further insight into his motivations, revealing that he had received explicit pictures of Kessie on his phone from an anonymous source. Matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of the girl, like not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. These revelations shed light on 50 Cent's meticulous approach to gathering evidence, suggesting a network of informants and insiders providing him with the ammunition needed to dismantle Diddy's empire. With rumors swirling that individuals from Diddy's inner circle are beginning to sell compromising material to 50 Cent, from photos to videos to first-hand accounts, the stage is set for a cinematic showdown of epic proportions. And I said, you know, like, because they know, like, if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'm a, I'll make sure I get out there, like, as far as this video.com is concerned. Yeah. As tensions escalate and the stakes grow ever higher, the looming specter of surviving P. Diddy casts a shadow over Diddy's once unassailable reign. With 50 Cent poised to unleash his cinematic expose, the question remains, will Diddy emerge unscathed or is this the beginning of the end for, is this the beginning of the end for the bad boy boss? Adding fuel to the already blazing fire, insider sources close to the unfolding drama have hinted at a potentially seismic development. A judge could issue a warrant for Diddy's arrest as early as this week or the next if police investigators uncover any incriminating evidence during their extensive searches. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. While the specifics of the ongoing investigation remain shrouded in mystery, reports suggest that authorities seized a plethora of items from Diddy's properties, including flash drives, recording devices, computers, and documents from safes. Replete with very, very serious and salacious allegations, uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras. With the possibility of damning evidence lurking within these confiscated materials, the specter of incarceration hangs ominously over Diddy's head. While the nature of the alleged crimes and the precise details of the evidence sought by law enforcement remain unknown, insiders speculate that any connection between Diddy and illicit activities could spell disaster for the hip-hop mogul. In this high-stakes game of cat and mouse, the role of 50 Cent in his forthcoming documentary cannot be overstated. Renowned for his uncanny ability to ferret out insider information, the enigmatic rapper turned entrepreneur operates as a virtual vacuum cleaner, sucking up every morsel of dirt and scandal from the darkest corners of the entertainment industry. Man, I ain't gonna lie. As law enforcement officials sift through the trove of confiscated materials, 50 Cent's cinematic expose stands poised to deliver a knockout blow to Diddy's carefully cultivated image. With rumors swirling that the documentary will feature explosive revelations and first-hand accounts from individuals within Diddy's inner circle, the stage is set for a dramatic showdown of epic proportions. As we dive deeper into the drama surrounding hip-hop titans 50 Cent and Diddy, the voices of fans reverberate with opinions as diverse as the unfolding saga itself. Let's take a glimpse into the pulse of public opinion, where passions run high and allegiances are fiercely defended. 50 is the most committed hater I know. You have to respect that, remarks one fan, acknowledging the unwavering dedication with which 50 Cent pursues his vendetta against Diddy. It's undeniable that 50 Cent's relentless pursuit of his adversaries has become a hallmark of his persona, earning him both admiration and criticism in equal measure. But amidst the admiration, there are those who offer a cautionary note. 50 Cent, don't forget, you could be in the same position one day. You already have been in tax trouble, and most people don't know you kicked DJ Door in. Remember when she lived on Diddy's property in Toluca Lake, California, next to Kim Porter? I know you remember. 
warns another fan, highlighting the precarious nature of fame and fortune in the cutthroat world of hip-hop. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you, our dedicated viewers. What do you think about the ongoing feud between 50 Cent and Diddy? Do you believe 50 Cent's relentless pursuit of exposing Diddy is justified? Or do you think it's simply a case of bitter rivalry gone too far? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Goodbye for now. And remember, the world of celebrity gossip never sleeps.